His ice, he's on a mission. He's on a mission and there we go. Here we go, this is gonna be chaos. You know, I almost feel sorry for Jimmy Havoc. He's had a bad autumn. He lost the world title. He got attacked by Sabu. He's been signed to a match in December against the Abyss. You know, Jimmy Havoc's had better signs. Oh man, that forearm nearly broke the jaw of Sabu. Sabu goes to the eye. Oh, straight away, it's no holds barred, Dean! Steel chair! Cracks off the skull of the former champion! I've never known anyone throw chairs and throw them with the accuracy of this lunatic Sabu. They don't call you suicidal, genocidal, homicidal, death-defying for no reason, oh, I suppose. Man. They're out of ringside. Please don't let them come over Nobody here. is safe. I'm not safe. Dean, I'm hiding behind you. You've got more experience oh, being a manager. Oh, you know how to talk to them. Oh, right in the eyes by Havoc. Havoc has Sabu here this evening in what I'm sure will be an absolute war, but then he has a bit in that Monsters Ball match, as you said, Dean, in Rochester on the 17th of December. There's another chair straight between the eyes. The super genie throws them to Sabu. Sabu throws them in the face of Jimmy Havoc. I was going to say that he was going to have that match against Abyss undisputed, and that was an undisputed chair shot that just cracked Havoc in the head. Just look at the eyes. The eyes of Sabu, the man's unhinged, oh, no. he's deranged, and he's oh. got himself a table propped up in the corner here. But in the time it took him to set that up, Havoc takes over on Sabu, warns the super genie to get the hell away, and she runs off with a couple of chairs in tow. This is absolute chaos at ringside. Oh, man. oh they are right in front of us here, Dean. I'm... I, oh, we're getting, I'm getting out of it. Oh, I'm getting out of it. Steel chair off Havoc skull again from Sabu, and they are ascending up to the rampway here in I, the Angel Centre in Tunbridge. We are stood up just so we can take evasive action if we need it. We, we are. We are safety first. Oh, oh no, wait a second. Not from there. No. Oh goodness me! And the table did a break. Sabu just threw Jimmy Havoc with extreme prejudice and extreme force. The two, yeah, J Tom Scarborough trying to get them in the ring. Good luck with that one. This is a no-holds-barred match. I'm not envying him. I never envy Tom Scarborough. I certainly don't today. My heart is racing. We are too close to the action for comfort. I, I, I feel somewhat comfortable. And I still haven't sat down. Go in the Campbell Arabian clutch. clutch. Campbell, the Arabian Clutch. Beg your pardon. A tribute to his uncle, the legendary oh! original Sheik. Goodness me. That echoed off every wall in this building, Dean. Can Sabu, in this environment of all places, get himself a, a submission with that chair-assisted Arabian clutch and now have it back in control? My God, my heart is racing. <laughs> I did think for a split second it might be our table that we're going through, Dean, I have to be honest. Uh, yes. Oh, wait a minute. Look, like he was going to mock him into oh. air, Sabu, but pokes him in the eye. That's classic Havoc. Yeah, that's called a receipt for trying to stab Havoc's eye out in Milton Keynes. I mean, it's bad enough being in Milton Keynes and having someone trying to blind you. Quick shout out there to Milton Keynes. You're a beautiful town. As is Tunbridge, and right now Tunbridge is being treated to a no holds barred massacre between oh, Havoc and Sabu. And Havoc throws a chair at Sabu. If you are enjoying what you're seeing on Facebook or on IWN right now, another chair oh, to Jimmy man. Havoc! If you're liking what you see, tickets are still available. Havoc versus Abyss in the Monsters Ball. Rochester, December 17th. Go to ibwuk.bigcartel.com. DDT on that steel chair. Could that be it? Havoc hasn't moved, Dean. Oh, he moved just in the nick of time. He was a champion for 770 days. Never right out. Jimmy Havoc! Oh, the Arabian face buster. And Havoc writhing in pain in the middle of the ring. Can Sabu get the pinfall? 
Havoc kicks out. You can't hold the IPW World Championship for as long as Jimmy Havoc has without having an entire reservoir of energy at your disposal when it comes to resiliency. And it is on display here after a Death Valley driver. Oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming back here, Dean. He said somebody's going through it. Please bring it in the ring. It's going in the ring. I hope so. My, my health care does not cover me <laughs> for that table. Havoc setting that table up. Oh, would you look at this, Dean? Oh. Ste stereo tables, Stereos. oh my goodness me. How, how do you make it bad? Make it worse. <laughs> oh, man. Havoc's going for the Rainmaker. What the hell? That's Abyss's music. We said that Abyss was going to face Jimmy Havoc in Rochester on December 17th. And I'm telling you now, we're coming in October. What is Abyss's music doing? Oh, with the spike. With the spike right to the head of Jimmy Havoc. Just like in Milton Keynes a few days ago. Still tear off the skull of Jimmy Havoc. Havoc is in real trouble, and the ECW original is ascending the turnbuckle to the top. He's going for the Arabian skull crusher, Dean. Golly, golly, Good golly, Miss Molly and the nanny goats. Sabu has always sacrificed himself to take out Jimmy Havoc there. Havoc has not moved a single solitary inch. And that's it! Here is your winner, Sabu! What an absolute war between Sabu and Jimmy Havoc! Abyss's music hit out of nowhere, Dean, completely distracting Jimmy. That was just unbelievable. Unbelievable, what a war we've just seen. Jimmy Havoc, okay, Sabu won, but Sabu had to win with some kind of distraction from, purportedly from Abyss. I mean, Sabu and Abyss have got a long history together. I don't know if they're in cahoots with this or what, but he needed a distraction to beat Jimmy Havoc. Whoa! Oh, and Havoc will not shake hands with with Sabu. To be fair, Dean, I think that's justified. Sabu snuck attack him in Milton Keynes and almost blinded him. Why would you shake a man's hand four days after he tried to blind you? Exactly. Well, the winner of this is Sabu. What a crazy match we've had.